This introduction to the power and size of statistical tests is offered by statlect.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. Let us start by defining the power function. The power function pi of theta gives the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the true value of the parameter is equal to theta. The power pi of theta depends on the null hypothesis H not that we are testing, on the true value of the parameter and on the design of the testing procedure. The testing procedure is made up by a test statistic and a critical region. We reject the null hypothesis when the value of the test statistic belongs to the critical region. Here is a simple example that shows how the power function works. Suppose that there are only three possible values of the parameter, theta1, theta2, and theta3. The null hypothesis is that the true parameter is equal either to theta1 or to theta2. Then, for example, pi of theta1 is the probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis when the true parameter value is equal to theta1. Pi of theta3 is the probability of correctly rejecting the null hypothesis when the true parameter value is equal to theta3. We can now define the size of the test and show how to calculate it by using the power function. The size of the test is the maximum probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis. Why am I talking about a maximum probability? To understand why, you need to remember that there are two kinds of null hypotheses, simple and composite. In a simple hypothesis, we assume that the true parameter is equal to a specific value. In a composite hypothesis, we assume that the true parameter belongs to a set comprising many different values. Let us start from the case of the simple null hypothesis that the true parameter is equal to theta1. In this case, the size of the test is simply the probability of rejecting the null, which is given by the power function pi of theta1. In a composite hypothesis, we assume that the true parameter belongs to a set comprising many different values. In the example on this slide, the composite null hypothesis is that the true parameter is equal to theta1 or theta2. We can use the power function to compute the probability of incorrectly rejecting the hypothesis that the parameter is equal to theta1. And we can also calculate the probability of incorrectly rejecting the hypothesis that the parameter is equal to theta2. Thus, we have two probabilities, pi of theta1 and pi of theta2. The size of the test is equal to the largest of these two probabilities. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On statlect.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability, statistics, and matrix algebra.